okay in the first uh, model here uh, m1 is considered as a outcome and x is considered as a independent variable so here we are um, finding the relationship between x and m1 so also we are getting significant uh, path coefficient between x and m coefficient is 0 0.7704 and we are getting exactly 0 0.000 as a p-value that might be significant at 99.99 percentage confidence limit also if we see the confidence interval between uh, its lower limit and upper limit 0 is not been included so uh, the, uh, it is representing the significant effect and if you see the second uh, analysis so here outcome is same to that is uh, code dependent variable is same to and uh, x and m1 are acting as a independent variables uh, both the variables are uh, getting pa significant path coefficient that is x on m2 as well as m1 on m2 all those things are uh, significant because zero is not been included between its lower limit and upper limit similarly the corresponding p value is also exactly zero 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 then this is the final output so here we are uh, linking x m1 m2 on y so here also we are getting significant path coefficient for all the relationship and uh, here if you see this particular analysis yeah here direct effect is significant which means we are getting partial mediation model and uh, here uh, if you see this indirect one and indirect two and indirect three this indirect one is nothing but x on y through m1 and indirect 3 is nothing but x on y through m2 and indirect 2 is our ultimate uh, serial mediation model that is x on y through m1 and m2 so here if you see this indirect 2 here we are getting 0 0.1674 as if effect that is indirect effect or uh, path coefficient and uh, if you see the bootstrap confidence interval limit uh, between its lower limit and upper limit 0 is not been included so this particular coefficient is statistically significant so we are getting support for the serial mediation model the hypothetical serial mediation model which i have developed for this particular analysis uh, only this uh, hypothesis 2 that is x and y through m1 for this relationship we are getting insignificant path coefficient that is coefficient value is 0 0.0539 and uh, between its lower limit and upper limit 0 has been included because we are getting here negative sign and here we are getting positive sign so between its lower limit and upper limit 0 has been included so this particular coefficient is not significant that is statistically not significant so here her goal is getting significant coefficient for this particular effect that is x and y through m1 and m2 also we are getting that particular coefficient that is significant statistical coefficient for this particular hypothesis if you see the various options in process macro if you click this option menu here you can able to get fx size for uh, model 4 and 6 similarly you can you can also able to compare the indirect effects between uh, different different uh, relationship that is uh, that was mentioned in uh, that is uh, x and m y through m1 x and y through m2 like that you can able to compare the indirect effects and uh, you can also able to get a total effect uh, for the proposed serial mediation model so i just click total effect model and i'll also ask the system to produce fx size click continue click ok uh, if you are uh, curious to know something about the effect size you just uh, see the uh, citation of preacher and uh, kelly they have published a paper in uh, I think psychological methods journal so effect size yeah you can refer this particular citation preacher and kelly 2011 citation also you have one more uh, citation i'll post it little later so if you are really interested to know something about uh, effect size 
you can um, refer this particular paper it's opening so it's freely available from picture uh, professor picture website is from Vanderbilt University let us see our result so here we are getting a total effect that is total effect is nothing but uh, the original relationship between x and y or the pure relationship between x and y without including our mediators between x and y so we are getting significant effect and uh, between uh, also we are getting significant p value between our uh, lower limit and the upper limit constant interval zero has been not included so it says that this particular effect is statistically significant similarly for direct effect also we are getting significant effect which means partial mediation effect and this is the different uh, indirect effect computations for more details you can refer sorry you can go through this particular paper sorry this citation and uh, there is a recent paper on uh, effect size for mediation uh, here uh, yeah this is a paper here uh, in the previous citation preacher and kelly cited uh, kelly citation they have recommended kappa squared as a good effect size measure for mediation model but in this work they have pushing that particular recommendation that is kappa squared uh, is not an effective measure uh, for uh, inferring the uh, mediation effect size so if you are really interested to know something about the uh, effect size further you can also read this particular reference so that's all about uh, today's presentation uh, very soon i'm planning to upload some more videos related to multiple mediation analysis using process macro and a moderated mediation analysis using process macro based on the haste recommendation thank you